Hi everybody, welcome to World Swap. This is Fat Frog, and today we're going to talk about food in Ark Survival Evolved. And we're going to talk about relatively basic foods. We're not going to talk about uh, a lot of the weird stuff that you can make in the cooking pot. I happen to be using uh, the industrial grill right behind me to cook some prime meat. So let's take a look at the different stats that are available with different foods. So the first thing you're probably going to encounter uh, in Ark Survival Evolved is berries. Berries are really easy to harvest just by um, harvesting them from shrubs. And you can get, uh, what is it, uh, four different kinds of food type berries. We've got uh, Azul berries here, we've got Tinto berries, we've got uh, the yellow Amber berries, I'm not sure how to say that one, and then we've got Mijo berries down here. Mijos are the preferred food for uh, taming lots of vegetarian creatures. So those are relatively easy to harvest. If you're just starting out, you should avoid stim berries, which are great for uh, increasing your stamina, um, and they also decrease your water at the same time. Uh, I don't even remember if they add to your food. Let's see. Yeah, they do add uh, one point to food. Uh, and then there's narco berries. If you eat too many narco berries, you're going to pass out, and uh, you usually don't want to do that. So just avoid narco berries pretty much all together. Save those for uh, taming different creatures. So as you advance, you can build a campfire, and then you can start cooking different meat. Now you can eat raw meat. So here I've got just some regular old raw meat, and I'll use that. And you can see my food's going up, but my health is always also going down. So my health went up five, excuse me, went down five points. So you're going to eat this at kind of your own risk. However, if you're eating cooked meat, your health is going to go up. So if we look at the just regular old meat that we've cooked, it has uh, a value of 20 food. So it's going to add 20 food points um, and help fill you up that way. It's also going to increase your health by 8 points. So if you've taken damage and you're hungry, then you can eat the cooked meat and regain some of that food back. Now the cooked meat stacks up to 30 and it spoils in 20 minutes. You can also then uh, turn that in cooked meat into jerky if you've gone and went ahead and built a uh, preserving bin. You mix the jerky with spark powder, oil, and uh, and the meat and then you get jerky after a certain amount of time and the benefit of making jerky pretty much is that it lasts longer it's also uh, needed in the recipes for many types of kibble so it's very useful there um, like for arc scorched earth the spoil times are a lot less so cooked meat jerky is going to help you have food out there uh, when you're away from base for longer periods of time if you can't get to uh, to cook anything. Now raw prime meat spoils in just a couple of minutes but if you cook it it actually um, lasts longer than regular cooked meat and let's see what is the time on that. It lasts 46 minutes so quite a bit longer than uh, regular cooked meat at least according to the wiki it's 46 minutes. I just cooked this up and it says 38 minutes so that's about right. Um, let's see, and it adds 25 health and it adds 35 food. So that's quite a lot better than cooked meat, so you can uh, carry less of it. Uh, it seems to weigh about the same, so uh, yeah, so you'll get a lot better benefit from it. However, it is really hard to cook up a lot of prime meat, especially without an industrial grill, because you can only put two meat inside and two prime meat inside a campfire at a time so it cooks very slow so even if you got a whole bunch of prime meat um, and you know say half a dozen campfires you're still not going to be able to get much cooked prime meat out of it just because as you're moving through that inventory your prime meat's going to spoil so that's the biggest disadvantage there however if you put it in the preserving bin you can get prime meat jerky and that has the same stats as the cooked prime meat but it lasts a lot longer uh, two days as a matter of fact so it lasts a lot longer than just the regular cooked meat jerky so it's very beneficial then like I said like in uh, Ark Scorched Earth where you have uh, spoil timers that are much shorter um, that's gonna help you out quite a bit 
The other thing that you can uh, harvest meat from is fish. And you can get just regular old cooked uh, fish meat, and then you can get cooked prime fish meat. Now, as far as I can tell, there's, well, I tried it out, and there is no jerky associated with these. So you just, uh, you just stuck with the cooked meat. And fish has a lot less value as far as food goes. It lasts a little bit longer before it spoils. So fish, uh, cooked fish meat is going to give you plus 10 food. So just going back, regular cooked meat is going to give you 20 food. So you're going to get only half of the amount of food um, value, but you'll get the same amount of health benefit. So you will get 8 health. That means you're going to get better health uh, benefits out of the cooked fish meat. That's because uh, you only get health based on how hungry you are. So if you are 20 points uh, full, if you use cooked meat, you'll get eight health out of it. So you can't just keep eating meat and getting more health. But if you're 20 points uh, empty on, uh, and you eat uh, cooked fish meat, you can eat two of them, which means uh, together you'll get 16 health points back. And that's not instantaneously, that's over time. But still, so that's a lot um, better. So cooked fish meat is something to take along with you, um, other than, uh, you know, some of the elixirs. That's going to allow you to get, uh, you know, better health benefits back if you know you're going to take a lot of damage like you typically do, like on a cave adventure or something like that. So that's pretty good. Um, now going back to the berries, um, for each one you eat, you only get one health, um, one health benefit from those. I can't remember if I mentioned that. The other thing you can do um, early on uh, at your own risk is pick up eggs. In this case, I've got a bunch of dodo eggs I've got to farm and we're raising them up and I can use those items. Let me eat one, see what it does. I was at 42 food and now it's taking me up to 62. So we've got 20 food out of eggs and eggs take a long time to spoil. That's one of the benefits of those. I mean, a dodo egg would give you almost eight days. So that's quite a lot. So let's get out of my inventory here. So that's kind of the food in a nutshell. Um, there's also seeds that you can pick up. The benefit of seeds um, that I didn't mention is that they give you one health per each, but they never spoil. So that's kind of nice. And uh, that wrap about wraps it up for kind of the basics of food. I hope this was a helpful video for you. Uh, if it was, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and thank you for watching.